Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will cover everything you need to know about the Nihil's Oubliette and his boss fight. You can get everything you need from the Nightwave offerings, there is two things. The first one is the Nihil's Oubliette, which you can buy for 60 Nightwave credits. You can use this as a decoration in your orbiter, but it also has another use and that is a boss fight. To activate the boss fight, you will need to buy the Enter Nihil's Oubliette item in the Nightwave offerings for 60 Nightwave credits. This fight does not require any weapons or anything else, so everyone can do it exactly in the same conditions. You will be spawned into a mission and will have to kill Nihil. You will need to jump around the platforms and evade his attacks, of which he has many. The attacks you need to look for are his head attacks, when he will shoot a piece of glass at you. You need to pick up the piece of glass and throw it at one of the flying glass shapes flying around the area. When you hit the right one, Nihil will enter a vulnerable state in which you need to throw the glass piece at him. If you're having problems getting the glass pieces, you just need to let him aim and then quickly jump away as soon as he shoots. You need to watch out though because if he hits you with a piece of glass, you will freeze in place for a couple of seconds, so he can easily kill you that way. Also very important to know is that if you hit the platform with the glass pieces you throw or you just leave the glass pieces there, you will destroy the piece of it, which is not that great since you have less area to maneuver in. During the Nihil's vulnerable state, he will use his other two attacks far more often. One of the attacks is a swoop of one of the platforms. He will usually teleport to the other side and do a swoop, which will kill you if he catches you. The other attack is a slam attack of the platform, with which he will destroy some of the tiles on it, so it will be harder to jump around. I suggest you focus on Nihil all the time so you can see where he is since he teleports and uses his attacks more and more often with progressing the fight. You need to repeat the same process three times with each time being a tiny bit harder, but yeah, it is still quite easy once you get the hang of it. The first time you defeat Nihil, you will get the Vitrisia, a sword that is quite good. It is very fun to play with since you can glass the enemies by jumping, aim gliding and attacking. It is fun to throw glass at people, just don't do it in reality, you might get in trouble. Every other time you defeat Nihil, in later battles, you will get a random ribbon, which is quite fine but still a bit too expensive if you ask me. But yeah, that is it. What do you think about the Nihil's fight? Is it fun? Is it boring? I myself like it, but it is a bit lackluster if you ask me. A fun fact I want to share as well is the word oubliette, which is basically a jail cell, just a different word for it. I like it quite a lot and I didn't know the pronunciation of it when I started this video. I usually called it just Oublet, but it was it was weird. So yeah, Oubliet. Who would know? With this, I thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye guys!